That's how you properly install a way to hook up your house to a portable generator. Today I'll show you how to install this generator inlet. Right now I'm just kind of orientating where I want this to sit. Great! already bending and denting this, making that paint break a little bit, so I'll just drip it out. Before I mount this, I'm gonna go ahead and bend this conduit. I already messed up at some point and drilled a half inch hole here, so I'm just gonna drill that on out to three quarter. So I don't really care where this is gonna end up. I'll just cut it once I get it to length. Now I can lift up and see kind of where I want this to end up. Yep. So that's a good distance there. Still not mounting that until I get this pipe done. Otherwise, I'd have to be pretty exact with this. This way I can just do it a little bit quicker. This is called a kick. I have to do this because the generator inlet does not line up perfectly with the knockout in that panel. like to use my flat head and just give it a little bit more torque. I do want to say this panel is live. I've got about 21 years experience. If you count the time at your mom's house, it's about 27. So just be careful out there, kids. If this breaker were to ever be turned on and somebody were to touch this, it would end badly. Most important step in any of these generator installs is this part right here. Lining it up with all these edges. So there's my three holes. So these screws go through this guy, and then this guy goes on there. That's just a warning telling that that's a generator breaker. That sucks. I'm gonna move it over. Go back inside. This was a knockoff brand. Uh, our local store didn't have one, so I just ordered it online. As you can see, it didn't line up real great. So I'm gonna have to move this over uh, to make it line up a little bit better, but I'll show you. I'll make sure it works before I shut it down too. There we go. Let's go try it again. That looks a lot better. So now you can see how this works. I cannot flip this up, turn this breaker on without this main being off. Once I turn this off into this off position, that'll allow this to slide up, and then I can turn my generator on. I've got this generator cord here. All I have to do is plug into this inlet. So now I can just set my generator right here, plug into it, it'll back feed the house and I'm good to go. You can shut it off. <laughs>